Good morning, friends. We all need a little light. All righty. Someone to help us through the scary times. Thank you. Have a good day. A reason to smile. Thank you. There's a school lunch hero over at Baylau Elementary. Hi, James. Who gets that? Ready, buddy? Her name is Kinel Gatlin. But everybody calls me Nelly. Thank you. I know when I was younger, I had teachers that took an interest in me and it made me feel important. They made me feel loved. Working the school lunch cafeteria comes with a lot of responsibilities. All right, thank you, Mr. Allen. Everything from making sure the kids get the right portions of food to making sure they're not allergic to what's on the menu. We want to make sure that we respect the religious beliefs, you know, if they can't have pork. Thank you. But Nellie will be the first to tell you to be a true lunch hero, you need to do a whole lot more. I have a genuine love and I genuinely care for these students. Hi, James. Oh, that's so sweet. It's why when she's not serving up hot meals to kids, you can catch her out here. Hi, how are you? Talking and getting to know the kids she serves. Reagan, you like it, Reagan? Is it good? Yeah. What they've done over the weekend, um, how they're doing, how they're feeling. It's an important part of the job. That's very, very important. Say hi, guys. Because these kids don't just need to learn, they need to feel loved. I care for these students a lot. You know, so I want them to feel loved. I want them to be excited when they come to breakfast and lunch and just have an awesome and safe lunch. You guys enjoy your lunch, okay? A bond that can extend beyond the school. Like when one student asked about one of his favorite meals. I recently shared a recipe with him for the fajita tacos that he loves and he went home and he shared their recipe with his family and they was just so grateful. The family was so thankful they wrote Nellie a letter. It was just the sweetest thing that was like the highlight of my year. Nellie and the other hardworking lunch workers here at Bela will clock out and go home soon, tired from another busy day. Mr. Ellis, thank you. But when the alarm clock rings tomorrow morning, Nellie won't be hitting the snooze button. Because when I wake up in the morning, I'm not sad coming to work. I'm actually happy. Um, you know, I enjoy my job, and I don't think everybody can say that. Can you give me five? Don't leave me hanging. What are you eating?